Hi, and in this quick Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get any social media icon into your Word document. So the first thing I need to do is to go onto the internet and go to this website here called Pixabay. It's simply pixabay.com. Then in the search bar here, I'm just going to type in social media icons. And then I'm going to go to this section here and make sure I'm checked on vector graphics. Then I'm just going to press enter. And as you can see, we've got a whole range of different icons available to us. Now, having scrolled down this several times, I think it's on about page three. So as you can see, there are lots of different ones to choose from. So I'm going to select this one here, just click on it then just go to free download, click on the download and then your image will be downloaded. Then what you need to do is to go up to the insert tab, go along to the picture icon, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Then once you've got your picture that you've downloaded, you may need to go into your downloads but I've actually moved this to another file. Click on the file and click insert. Now at the moment you can't really move this around so we just need to adjust the wrapping. So make sure you're on picture format. If it's not available it's because you haven't selected your picture. So if I just click off you can see that that tab has disappeared. If I just highlight my image you can see it's reappeared up here. Then go along to this wrap text icon here, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Then it will allow you to move this image around. Now in order to separate out each of these icons, I'm just going to copy and paste this image. And the reason being is because we're going to have to crop each time we want one of these images on its own. It is a little bit time consuming, but of course you've got all these different icons to choose from. So click on the first image, make sure you're on picture format, go along to the crop tool and just click. And then you'll see these black lines appear in the corners and the sides of your image. And then let's say, for example, we want the Instagram icon. We just move that up to highlight the Instagram icon and just press enter. And now you have an image on its own. Now the reason I cut and paste every time I use this image is because it saves you having to go back time and time again to re-enter, insert, picture from file, etc. So just copy and paste it. So again, if I go up to the image, go up to the crop tool, and then if we want the Facebook icon, we'll just move these black marks around the Facebook icon and press enter, and move that one up. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do several more of these just to show you, and then I'll show you how to align them at the end. Okay, so to, in order to line all of these up, let's say you wanted them all in a line. Best way to do it is to line them up with almost equal spacing, but you don't have to worry too much about the spacing because we can sort that out now. So hold your command key down and just click on each icon. Then make sure you're on picture format again and go along to this align tool here. Click on the drop down. So the first thing we want to do is to line them all up to the center. So we want to align to the middle. What that's going to do is to line all the boxes up in the center here. Let's just do that again because sometimes it can be a little bit clunky and it just needs to move a little bit to the sides. So if we just click off, what we can see is each icon is perfectly lined up to the middle. Now if some of them don't quite line up in the way you want to, then you can just click on it and use your arrow keys just to maneuver it so that you're happy. If you want an equal distance between all of them, then just again highlight them all. Go back up to the Align tool, click on the drop down, and then go down to Distribute Horizontally. Click on it, and it will distribute those icons equally. Now again, because when you cropped them, you may not have cropped them to exactly the same size. So again, you can go ahead and just use your arrow key to move them left or right. 
Once you've got all your icons where you want them, if you highlight them all, go up to the group icon here, click on the drop down and select group. It will make it into a complete group so that when you move it around, it will move it as one element. Now you can sometimes make this a little bit bigger or smaller. Smaller is fine, bigger, and it will get a little bit more pixelated. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.